And Pastor Emmanuel Okonkwa joins me now to discuss the significance of Christmas. Uh, good morning to you and uh, thanks for Thank joining you. us. Thanks for having uh, me. Merry Christmas, of course, Merry Christmas uh, to you. you. Yes. All right, talking about the significance of uh, Christmas, I mean, this is a question we ask every year, but as times change, uh, you guess the, the answers to that question would yeah. definitely uh, reflect the times. The times, yes. Yes, hmm. uh, absolutely. I think the first thing to understand is that we must make sure that the merriment of Christmas doesn't swallow the message of Christmas. You know, people are going to go off this week and just uh, get gluttonous. But the merriment of Christmas should not swallow the message of Christmas. But then the question is, what, what, what's, what's, what's the, the message? message of Christmas? And what's the message of Christmas for this time, for this hour? I think the first one is that Christmas speaks of a promise that was made and kept. A promise that was made and kept. If you remember when man fell in the garden, mm. um, God said, I'm going to fix this mess. And it took him a lot of chapters in the Bible. It took him a lot of years in the Bible, but he kept his promise. So what is God telling us now? Mm. Our politicians, if you make a promise, keep it. Husband, if you make a promise, keep it. Wife, if you make a promise, keep it. So Christmas speaks of a promise made and kept. Christmas also speaks of a value placed. Uh, let me explain that. Yeah. What, what's, the, what's, the, what's the worth of a human being? What's the worth of a Nigerian? That, that's the question. What's the worth of a Nigerian? How, you know, we've become so desensitized to uh, people dying, people being killed. Mm -hmm. and, and so when you look at our country, uh, death doesn't really matter to us. But in Christmas, God, God speaks of how valuable we are, mm -hmm. that, that we, we, we have worth, enough worth for him to live where he is, and, and come here. So that's a message again to our leadership. It, How much is the Nigerian worth? It's a very, very vital question that you just raised there because, I mean, the, the, the president, President Muhammadu Buhari, only was quoted in the headlines today that, uh, you know, 2018 marked a year yes. that so many Nigerians died yeah. unnecessarily. Absolutely. Now, how do you take this message to our leaders, in, especially when every year they give this goodwill messages and yeah. all of that? How can you, how do we ensure that they actually walk the talk? Well, I, I, think, I think something needs to change uh, in our mind on how we see a Nigerian. We have value uh, until our politicians, until our leadership, begin to understand that Nigerians actually have uh, you see you, you you let people die who you think don't have value you 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 you're not concerned but the moment you begin to think somebody has value then you want to protect it if something has value you want to protect it mm -hmm. I think the problem is that our leaders don't see us as valuable and once you don't see something as valuable uh, you could treat it anyhow and, and, and so there, ne there needs to be a reorientation and, and that reorientation can can be gleaned from the message of Christmas that God said man has enough value man is what dying for mm. that, that's what he's telling us man yeah. is what dying for very very uh, important what, what are the lessons really that we should uh, take away so much has been said about you know the need to remember the less privileged among us uh, some even say including the the PDP presidential candidate Atiku, yeah. who says that it's a time, an opportunity to, for reconciliation. Yeah. Uh, speak to that. Well, I, I, think, I think all those, all those messages are right. But for me, I, I would like to see a more compassionate uh, country. I think our country is now devoid of any form of compassion. Uh, we, are, we, want, we are PDP, we are APC, there's just no compassion. Uh, and and, and wh what, what God did in Christmas was the ultimate compassion. It was, uh, so if we would go back into the political space mm -hmm. and, and, and the church and the hospitals and the schools and begin to show compassion, because the thing about compassion is that when you show it correctly, uh, you don't show it to just someone in your political party or someone from your tribe. You, 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 you show it across the board. And, and, and it would be nice to get into 2019 and begin to kind of see a compassionate nation. Uh, I absolutely. think that's what Nigerians are, are yearning for. Now let's even talk about the uh, commercialization or over commercialization of, of Christmas, of, uh, Christmas yes. which a lot of people have talked oh, about, yeah. you know, that doesn't seem to center on the real uh, essence of Christmas. Yes. Well, it, 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 it's just a part of a bigger problem in our nation. Uh, the, the, but the it's not only in Nigeria. I mean, all over the world. Uh, uh, absolutely. But then, then when you go, go to some of these developed nations, they've already got things in place. They've got, they've got social amenities. And, and so even when they begin to 
over commercialized Christmas. Uh, they, ha they have uh, people can fall back on something. Our problem in Nigeria is that we don't have any of that. And so when we begin to now over commercialize it, then, then we come off worse. What I'm saying is that this is, this is just part of a larger problem, the desire to make money. And, and, and if, you, if, if, you, if you look at it, that desire to make money is the reason why the message of Christmas is not being, being preached. Everyone is going to concentrate on the merriment of Christmas mm. and then forget that the merriment of Christmas is not the message of Christmas. How much troubling is it, for, especially when, you know, among the youth, Christmas just means a reveling and, oh, yeah. you know, uh, doing things in excess? Absolutely. And uh, that's, that's the thing. That's the merriment of Christmas. They've not been taught. They've not been taught. And they, they've, they, they are watching the older ones. They are watching their pastors. Uh, uh, and they are watching their leaders, and, and they are seeing the, uh, uh, just the abuse of, 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 of uh, resources. And in their mind, this is, what Christian, uh, this is what Christmas represents. You see, people have to be taught. If you don't teach people something, they cannot learn it. So we have our young people today, they are going to go and gamble. Uh, I, I pastor a church, and what's the biggest problem now is they're just going to get money this Christmas and gamble it all away, mm. drink it all away, waste it all away. And where are they learning it from? Where are the role models? Where are the role models for Christmas? Where are the role models? Yet uh, Christ himself remains uh, the most ultimate, important, yeah. the ultimate role model. Uh, role model. Yeah, okay, so how should we be celebrating this Christmas? I mean, so many people have talked about, uh, you know, the economy is not too uh, good. You know, people are, don't have the purchasing power and all of that. Yes. Can we still enjoy Christmas? I think, I think we can. I think if you remember when, when John the Baptist came into the scene and people were going to him and they said, what, what, what should we do? He said, if you've got two coats, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, give one to another. If you've got two shoes, give one to another. We, we, you know, even when the economy is at its worst, we can have compassion. We can have, there's, there, are, there, are, there are incredible ways of showing compassion to your neighbor. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think everyone can, can, can do that. Yes. Absolutely. Pastor Emmanuel Okonkwa, thank you so much for joining us on the Midday News and Merry Christmas one more time. Uh, speaking to us on the significance of